They, they, they say the name of Jesus over and over and over again. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy And they'll say these things over and over and over and over again. But look down. We started off in Matthew chapter 6. This is the instruction of Jesus Christ about how to pray. In Matthew chapter 6, look at verse number 5. He says, and when thou prayest. So he's going to tell you what to do. When you pray, here's what you need to do. He says, thou sh first he says, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. First of all, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. Don't be like the phonies. Don't be like these people that like to, to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Don't be like the phonies that just give these prayers because they want everyone to hear how good they are at praying and how eloquent they are and how much they could use their fair words and speeches to just sound all great and wow i want this person to pray because they're just so great with their words he's saying don't be like those hypocrites because that's why they're doing it they just want to be heard of men and seen of men he says verily i say unto you they have their reward yeah guess what that, that's all they're going to get from their prayer it's, it's, it's worthless because all they're getting out of their prayer is being seen of men because god's not hearing them so they get their reward Verse 6 is, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. He's saying you don't need to make a public show of it. it, it it's, it's communication with God, so what matters is that you are talking to God, that you're praying to God, that you're, you know, go in your closet. No one needs to see it, because it ought to be real and from your heart. If it's real and from your heart, then who cares who sees it? That's not what it's about. Now, this isn't teaching that any open prayer is wrong. We do open prayer here sometimes. Sometimes we'll specifically pray for someone. We'll pray for people as a church, right? But the whole point is that it's not that we don't do this prayer so, oh, you can see how spiritual and how holy we are. It's because we're actually trying to entreat the Lord with something. We're trying to seek him for, for some area of need in our church or in our lives, and that's why you do it. It's not this which... Look at verse 7. He says, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. There's already people out there that just repeat things over and over and over again. They chant. They use vain repetitions over and over and over and over and over again. That's the heathen. The heathen do that. He says, don't be like them. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. And the Catholic Church is huge on this whether it be for their indulgences, the rosary, you have to say this many Hail Marys, this many Our Fathers, and that's ultimately what the rosary is, by the way. It's you have to say this many Our Fathers, this many Hail Marys, you know, all this, all this work of just praying and chanting is really what it is, not even praying. You're chanting. Just like, he, and, and they think by, by, by their much speaking that, that God's just going to hear them. Oh, and God's going to save America. And they honestly think when they pray the rosary, and, and this gets into their indulgences. They think that you can, you, if you just keep chanting this, you could chant this for yourself, and you'll receive this extra forgiveness for things that you've done. And then you can pray for other people, and you just go through this whole list of how to pray the rosary, which we'll, we'll get into in just a little bit. You go through all these steps, and then people in purgatory who are being purged of their sins, you can help them get out of there faster because you're making this chant. I mean, this is what they believe. Or you could pray for the country and pray the rosary and, and chant over and over and over and over again. These things just chant, 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 chant. Say, oh, okay, well, now God's going to bless us. Now God's going to overlook and, and, and uh, you know, forgive some of our sins because we've done this. They think that they're much speaking that God's going to hear them. When Jesus specifically said, that's not the case. I mean, this is completely against what Jesus taught. And in fact, what's, I mean, the irony here is he's, Jesus is teaching people how to pray right when he gets done saying, don't use vain repetitions. Don't repeat things over and over and over again. He says, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye. Then he says, our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Right? And he goes into what's known as, in the Catholic, you know, the Our Father prayer. And what do they do with that? They repeat that. He says, don't use vain repetitions. 
don't repeat over and over and over again. And he says, this is how you should pray. Right. He says, after this manner. Right. Manner means the way that you kind of do things, but it's not use these words exactly when you pray. And if you need to pray about anything, just use these words every single time and just repeat this. That's not what he's saying here, but that's what the Catholics do. 